So this entire experiment rests on the idea that people post a lot of information online without really thinking about what that means, especially teens. So I want to put it right in their faces. This is how much I can find out about you in just six clicks. And I want them to ask, how much am I really comfortable sharing online? We'll see. I'm always online. So it wouldn't be this big shocker to find any dirt on me. It's nothing too bad, I'm sure. You see this phone? It is always with me and I am always online. Oh, it's my boyfriend. Can I get this? Yeah, I use the internet just as much as anybody else. I got nothing to hide. I'm clean. Oh yeah. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest. I'm there. I post everything online. Everything. Look, I don't have time to be online. I have track, homework, family game night, dance. And with all of that going on, you want me to tweet about what I had for dinner? So he's definitely gonna find something. Yeah, probably. But like everything's. So you all remember the deal. You agreed to accept my friend request on Facebook, and from there I had just six clicks to find out as much as I could about you. Well, today is show and tell, so let's get started. Kayla is lucky number one. I almost forgot. <gasps> Ponies! These were my favorite. How'd you know? No, oh, it was the answer to question number 16 on the 20 things you didn't know about me quiz you posted to Facebook last year. Huh. I don't even remember that. So in addition to your favorite childhood toy, I also know your favorite books, movies, TV shows. Nothing too serious until... You might not be happy to hear this, but your mom has decided not to get you those five-inch stilettos you wanted. Mm. But I have to have those! Stilettos. Wait. I didn't write about that. No, you didn't, but your mom did. And the email address she has linked to her Facebook account is the same one she uses for her mommy blog. Her what? Oh yeah, mommy she has a great mommy blog, very popular. There was this hysterical entry a couple weeks ago about your dandruff. Oh. oh. Anyway, uh, she was writing about the shoes. She's decided they're just too old for you. What was that? I mean, I know what I post online, and I'm fine with it. Ponies? Yeah, big deal. But when my mother blogs about me, that is not okay. Next up, Nick. So, or should I call you Captain Chicken Vomit? <laughs> <laughs> Ew. What's wrong with that? That is you, right? Captain Chicken Vomit is one of your gamer tags? Yeah, I thought you were only using Facebook. How did you even find that? No, oh, I said I had six clicks. I didn't say all six had to be on Facebook. But this was easy to find. All I did was Google your email address. What was a little harder to find was this. You used that same gamer tag as your profile on this music site. And it looks like your favorite playlist includes songs from 90s boy bands. <laughs> Dude, that's, that's not... That's not cool. Your personal favorite appears to be Feeling You. You played it a total of 76 times. <laughs> that was for this girl. Mm -hmm. She hangs Does out she sometimes. Does she exist? Yeah. Totally. That, that wasn't for me. I, I didn't listen that to that. Look, I don't listen to cheesy boy bands, OK? I don't. He found a few accounts online. It's no big deal. Those weren't my playlists. So Will, you, you were a bit of a challenge. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, this is it. I, you don't seem to spend much time online. Get some friends, man. I couldn't find any trace of you on Instagram or Twitter, anything, really. Dude, you don't exist. It's called having a life. You found exactly what I thought he'd find. 
Absolutely nothing. That's how I like it. My turn. So, what'd you find out? Well, you are quite the open book. It's like your entire life is documented online, and it wasn't hard to find all of your accounts. Here we see some of your many, many sketches. And this album, I found a picture of everything you ate last month. Yeah, I was experimenting with food blogging. Here we have a list of every single place you checked into just in the last week, but I've got a list going back to last year. Yep, I always check in. Speaking of which, eight months ago, you tried a goat's milk smoothie with your friend Nikki. She loved it, but you said it made you, and I quote, <laughs> BFFs with my toilet for over an hour. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> Who says that? Yeah, some people think I overshare, but that's me. I don't do anything I'm ashamed of, so why would I care if people know? Logan, you, sir, are cheating on your girlfriend. Whoa, 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 where did you hear that lie from? Oh, I'm certain it's not a lie. I have ample evidence to prove that you are, in fact, cheating on your girlfriend with her best friend. That's oh, that's wrong. What evidence is that? I noticed a cryptic post on your wall where she called you Double Low. So I ran a search and found a Twitter account for Double Low that you were using to share secret messages. <sighs> You're such a jerk. Yeah, seriously, Logan. And it's definitely your account because the profile picture matches the one from your Facebook. You should really consider changing your pictures more often. Oh, <laughs> my girlfriend's gonna kill me. Which one? Huh. How did that just happen? I had everything under control. Separate accounts, different usernames. Are, are we done here? Well, that was interesting. Very, very interesting. I think I surprised some people. Probably not some others. Either way, I think they're all leaving here today with two questions. What information about me is online for people to find? And do I want them to find it? Maybe it's time for you to start asking yourself these questions.